Hey guys, it's Shade from Polygon Motion and welcome to this tutorial. At the first, I'm really sorry I hadn't posted any tutorial in these months. I was very busy and sorry for that. In these days, I will come up with some new tutorials and I will upload them in the next weeks. So now in this tutorial, we are going to create um, a very nice Glastix effect animation with building tools of After Effects. Uh, like this one if I play this you see that we have a very cool animation uh, illusion text with some a very nice effect glass text effect that uh, it, it's kind of uh, 3d as you see it looks 3d it's not a 3d text but it is a 3d effect and it will help you to create some very nice uh, 3d text effects in After Effects. So let's dive into After Effects and start creating this project. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to Polygon Motion channel, please uh, subscribe to this channel and help uh, Polygon Motion channel to grow and uh, to reach out to other uh, people who, wa who want to uh, learn uh, After Effects and motion graphic at all. And you can use other uh, version of After Effects, but uh, not older than CC 2015 and 14 uh, because some of the things might not work uh, quite well so let's create a new composition uh, I'm going to new composition and type text glass uh, we want that, uh, that in full HD you, you can uh, choose other resolutions like uh, 4k and other one uh, other resolutions uh, also duration of 5 maybe it's okay just click okay so the first thing that I want to create is our background so right click in here new and solid uh, this one is our BJ background and what I'm going to do in here as you can see in our example uh, we have uh, four colors they are not completely different colors uh, but uh, they are all a little bit um, different in their values uh, of RGB values. They are different a little bit, as you can see, and it it makes our title looks very shiny and kind of 3D. So uh, for this purpose, I'm gonna I'm going to use uh, four color gradient because it uh, allow allows us to create uh, four uh, types of color and mix them with each other. Uh, so we have a very uh, fancy color. We have to change them. The first one is the color one, the color one, and we can change that into a little bit reddish, pinkish color, and use this eyedropper tool and change the shade of them a little bit like this. So as you can see, we have it, but we just have to make it a little bit darker maybe like this one yeah we have it. so you can change the position of colors in here as well and I think it is okay so uh, how this uh, effect work uh, actually is that you have to create your text and you have to pre-comp it and then we want to use an effect called CC glass effect and this effect map your text uh, and uh, create a displacement map on your layer so in this case we have uh, our background layer our solid and it will map our text onto uh, our uh, solid layer as an uh, as a displacement map I know it's it sounds a little bit complex but it's very easy to use that so the other thing is to create text so you can uh, type anything that you want for example in here we can type illusion or anything that you uh, want to use and uh, just scale it up a little bit I'm using the Roboto font that you can uh, find online it's a free uh, font you can find it on Google and uh, a black uh, font blank black uh, typeface so now just change the anchor point to the center of the text 
and what I'm going to do is here, in here is to pre-comp it go to composition sorry layer pre-compose pre or you can use control shift C uh, shortcut so illusion main text so now you, as you can see we have uh, our pre-comp uh, pre but it is in full size we don't want to be uh, we don't want uh, this text to be in full size so what I'm going to do in here is just click on this pre-comp you see that we have these black areas but if you want if, if you want to change the text later on uh, we can do that uh, uh, very easily because we have these black areas so if I uh, come come up in here and show you guys how can if, if I want to change the text for example in our example uh, we have illusion we want something else uh, go to um, illusion text as you can see we have just uh, these black areas because they are uh, these are space for if you want to use a little bit longer texts, but we don't uh, have those other black areas. So how can we do that? Uh, if I close this, uh, we can crop our uh, uh, composition by region, region of interest. Click in here and choose draw a square shape like this. Go to composition and crop com to region of interest. As you can see, it's not uh, well fitted in here, but we can do it like this. Very nice. So just close this, and as you can see, we have our text. Pre comp it uh, again. You can use Ctrl Shift C, and this time call it illusion map so now we have our text what I'm going to do in here is go to effect control effect and presets and type CC glass under the stylus category uh, drop it on our uh, uh, on this layer uh, we have uh, different categories in here different groups uh, surface light shading and in surface we have bump map so bump up is uh, uh, a slot in here that you can choose the layer that you want uh, this effect to be mapped uh, on the solid layers uh, layer so in bump map we have to use our illusion map so just disable this in here we don't want to see this uh, because uh, now it's uh, already mapped on our uh, solid layer so we have softness height and displacement map uh, displacement value you can change these values in here as well as you can see uh, let me put this in quarter mode for a faster result uh, as you can see we can change and tweak this uh, these properties but uh, for me I want to put this to 25 and height to 20 and this one the displacement 152 as you can see it's not looking very good but we have to tweak a little bit uh, to make it look cooler so in light we can change the light of it light and shininess we can adjust the light direction as well in here let me put this back to half and we have ambient in here just make just make it a little bit darker to see those uh, to see those uh, uh, shininess in here in our on our text uh, as you can see we can change the, the specular as well like this very cool roughness maybe a little bit more and metal effect I think this is cool so now let's animate these properties um, on our example if I open this you can see that we have a very cool animation like this uh, so now we are going to this frame and create a keyframe for height and go back to the 
first frame put this zero now you can see at the first frame we don't have any text if I play this you see that it's coming up over the time very nice so let's, uh, let's tweak these keyframes a little bit to make it uh, to make them a little bit smoother just give it a little bit energy in here like this very cool uh, so now uh, let's create another keyframe uh, for light for direction if I change this you see that the light direction is changing and it's very it's it's a cool effect uh, go to this frame and create a keyframe for uh, and for light direction and go back and change it to a random number like this if I play this you see that very subtle effect but make our text very nice press you on the keyboard and change these to easy ease to make it to make them a little bit smoother like this very cool and uh, now I want to create another keyframe for our points in here so go to this effect position and colors uh, this is our first point if I check this yeah put this in here create a keyframe put it in the first frame in here and go to the exact same frame as our text and put it back to this point now change these to smooth easy ease yeah and maybe tweak them a little bit more very cool you see that we have a very nice effect in here now go to our effect control and duplicate this effect you got a very bad result you see these darkness it's not uh, looking very cool but we can play with these uh, properties these values and maybe a little bit softer yes like this if I uh, check this before and after you see that it, it looks very cool maybe a little bit brighter like this if I check this one very very cool effect okay if you want you can duplicate uh, a CC glass one another time it will look cool but I think it looks very nice and uh, now let's add a very uh, cool zoom out animation create null object uh, link uh, our VG color layer to controller and go to null object scale press s for scale and create a keyframe in here go back and zoom in like this and change it to easy ease change these uh, start and ending points now let's take a preview very cool as you can see at the first frame we are very zoomed in and it's not cool maybe bring it a little bit out cool effect 
of course you can play with these properties you can change colors for example if I show you guys uh, make it like bluish color you can see and, and if I want to change the text I can easily go to my project illusion text and change this to something like maybe bold I don't know I think that was the wrong layer if I go to there you bold you can change the font as well in here you can see you can easily change uh, the text and everything that you want so guys that was it the project file for this tutorial is available you can download it from description right uh, below and if you haven't subscribed please please subscribe to this channel and like this video to uh, help other people find these tutorials on my channel polygon motion easily and if you have any question or suggestion feel free to reach me out or you can uh, write your comments under this video check out other uh, polygon motion uh, tutorials on YouTube and uh, my name is Ashir we will see you next time